Hi, this is Sean McCormick from Radio Hannah. In this video, we're going to learn how to listen to Radio Hannah through the Zia Live app on an Android phone, tablet, or smart TV. You can even install this app on your car stereo if it supports Android Auto. We're going to start by opening the Google Play Store app on my tablet. Now that I have Google Play open, I'm going to tap in the search bar and type in Zia Live. That's X-I-I-A L-I-V-E. And there we go, we find it immediately. There's a free version and a pro version. The pro version has no display ads. The free version does. I'm, I'm going to use the free version. That's good enough for me. Next I tap install and it comes up with a list of permissions that the app needs. Location, photos, Wi-Fi connection, and device ID. And I'm okay with all those, so I'm just going to accept that and start installing the app. Now it's downloading the app. Uh, since this is somewhat like watching paint dry, I'm going to speed it up through the magic of video editing to get to the installation point. All right, Zia Live has finished downloading and it's now installing. Boom, we are ready to open the app. Now, as you can see, it actually has a very nice clean interface. Uh, we can search right away, but I can warn you that it's not going to work, and here's why. The default directory that Zia Live uses is Uber Stations, and Uber Stations only supports actual AM and FM radio stations, not internet radio, which is what Radio Hannah is. So you're not going to find us. What we have to do is go back to directories and change to the Shoutcast directory because Shoutcast is where Radio Hannah is listed. There we are. You can see Radio Hannah. And what I really like about this is once you tap on Radio Hannah, you'll notice it comes up with the song information it's playing and even cover art for the song it's playing. Zia Live automatically finds cover art to go with the songs that we're playing. Now, TuneIn, which is the other app that people use to listen to Radio Hannah on their Android devices, doesn't display the song info of what's playing. Zia Live does, so I really like Zia Live for this reason. Very easy, very simple app, very attractive. The only gotcha is that when you first use the app, you do have to change directories from Uber Stations to Shoutcast, and then you can find Radio Hannah no problem. This is Sean McCormick from Radio Hannah saying thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.